Electrical stimulation of the spine, one technique is we take electrodes and surgically implant electrodes on top of the spinal cord. And it's on top of what we call the epidural region so that we can excite it and, and make it more responsive to sensory information. This technique uh, is important because uh, we have not realized how important the basic level of excitability of the spinal cord is, what its state, its functional state is, whether it feels hungry or happy or whatever, we can stimulate in a way to make it, uh, uh, to make it more responsive to information from multiple sources. We haven't known how important that is. It's probably much more important even in normal control without someone that's injured. Uh, it would be like when you are going to make a movement, uh, you're already thinking about it and that thinking and is giving you a planning strategy of how to make the movement. So probably what our guess is, is that this neuromodulation, changing the properties, is kind of doing the same thing. It's making it ready to move. It's enabling it to move, whereas previously it's lost the properties. It can't feel good. It can't feel what it needs to feel. I think the future of this is, is very positive uh, because I think that we've learned so much that what we didn't know was there that uh, now we're just at a new, we're at a new starting point. And so I think there's an, enough questions that have been raised that's going to enable us to just keep improving. And uh, it's going to be a combination though, of not only understanding more of the function, how the spinal cord and brain is function, but it's going to be uh, also important to develop new technologies because as we see this function coming up, we may want a new technology to take advantage of that function. So that's why it's important to have the engineers and the biologists, the, the clinicians working together to, to, uh, to look at it as a team.